Hey all, Matt here with Bobcat Bonsai, and today we're going to clean up, trim up, and make our Oriental Arbor Vitae look better. Let's get to it. Alright, so first thing first, let's take care of all this uh, clover that is just kind of taken over everywhere. Um, it hasn't really messed with it too bad as far as the absorbing extra water. I make sure that it's healthy enough that the tree is doing great. The clover is kind of nice because it kind of actually provides a little bit extra shade. Oh my gosh! My friends, we have it. It's so cool when you're doing trimming and you find a bonus tree. That's exciting. Alright, back to uh weeding the garden and not the bonus tree leaving the bonus tree because I always enjoy bonus trees <laughs> how many times can I say bonus tree I'm sorry that was probably really annoying I was actually at my son's graduation the other day and the guy kept replete kept repeating staying grounded and he just kept saying it over and over and over again and it was funny because my niece goes why does he keep saying everybody's grounded? What did they even do? Who's grounded? Is it the people down there? And it was just the funniest thing because um, it just made me laugh. It made me laugh when she said that. Uh, this little guy right here is the marker for the front of the tree. So let's take a quick look here. I need to get myself a camera person. That would be pretty sweet. Camera person to help me out. But that's okay. For now, it's just going to be me. And we'll make it work. Okay, so there's the front of the tree, right? We got the nice movement running up through here. Sorry, there's more clovers that I just noticed. We have nice movement running up and through here. There's actually new buds bursting inside here and everything. So. Here's my thought, right? I like this branch coming off right here, but there is some branching right here on the back side that I actually do not want. I don't want too much branching down low. So we're gonna trim this all back. All right. So we got that all back. Now we have these two separate branches coming out from right here and for now I'm gonna leave them alone and see which one grows out stronger and then whichever one grows out stronger will be the one that I keep um, we then have this next branch which is actually on the same side coming up and that's a thicker branch so then the question is do I get rid of both of these and start my first branch up here do I cut it here and make that the apex? I don't think so. Not as of yet, at least. So we're gonna skip that branch for now and we're gonna come up to this next one because we know we definitely don't want branches this far backing into it, okay? So we'll take those off. That one we can wire up then later if we would like to. All right, so we're just gonna come in and just give it a little trim back here. We're just gonna take the tips off on all these branches. Okay, and then honestly, I think that's all we're gonna do today is just take the tips off and then we will let it grow and see what it does from here. The only one I'm going to take and make different is I am actually going to take and cut right there. Put a little bit of cut paste. There we go. And then that'll be my new apex up there. So for now, this is going to be all the work I'm going to do to this tree. I know I kind of took it and just stubbed it back a little bit, but we're going to let it grow and see how things go. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. 
If you enjoy my content, subscribe to my channel. And if you really, really enjoy my content, you should hit the bell notification to get notified every time I release a new video. Thank you.